today I'm going to be reviewing this new e.l.f. high definition powder in corrective yellow. So I'm going to be doing a full face, I already have the eyes though, full face um, foundation routine and I'm going to be applying that and I'm going to be showing you how it worked out for me. For me, so if you guys want to see the results, stay tuned. So I like to apply the Too Faced Hangover Primer. It smells so good and I feel like it works amazing when I'm going to use a matte foundation because I feel like when I apply on my when I, when I apply a matte foundation, I feel like um, if I don't apply a really good moisturizer, then it just cracks in certain areas, especially like right here. And when I apply a moisturizer and I apply um, a matte foundation, I feel like it just looks really, really good and it just looks flawless. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. This is like my all-time favorite. It works amazing. So I'm just going to apply that all over my face. Okay, and I'm just going to start blending it in with the Beauty Blender. Okay, so I'm going to be using this NYX HD concealer and this one is in I believe yellow but let me check before I say yep yellow so right away real quick before I even move on to this I love the way this foundation sits uh, it's just so perfect and it just like mats your face and it just looks flawless this is like my all-time favorite foundation it's just amazing so I'm gonna go in with some yellow concealer okay okay and since i'm going to be contouring i'm going to show you guys what i've been doing lately so i'm going to go in with this l'oreal visible lift uh, foundation and this is in shade classic tan so i'm going to go in with a foundation brush and i'm just gonna apply it there so just like that Right here, side of my nose, like that. Uh-uh, deal. Okay, so now since I have that on, I'm just gonna blend out the concealer first. Okay, now I'm gonna blend out my con my uh, contour. Okay, and now I'm just gonna set my under eye, and I'm gonna go in with some setting powder, and I am gonna apply that underneath my eye. Hey YouTube! So today I'm going to be doing a first impressions on this new e.l.f. definition powder in corrective yellow. It's a corrective yellow shade. Um, really excited. I picked it up at Walmart for six bucks. It comes like this and it had yellow. So I was like, like banana, a banana shade color. So it comes like this and you just take it off. I wanted to keep it up on so I could see how much. It's like very loose. Like look at that. It's like loose. I've seen so many people say so many good things about it and so many people have said so many bad things about it. So I kind of wanted to give it a try. Um, you can see that you get, you get quite, I think quite enough for six dollars. So yeah, it's like very loose. It doesn't really stick to anything. It just like kind of, it feels like, it sounds like, kind of looks like water. Like it just like Okay, anyways, so I'm going to peel back this thing, and I am going to see how it works. Hopefully it works wonders. If it doesn't, at least we tried it. Just go like that. Did any come out? Oh yeah, it's like everywhere. Okay. 
Okay, so I already applied concealer underneath my eyes, and I set it with a clear um, setting powder, just because I didn't want it to crease if I just put this on there and just like just grab to it. So I just want to put this over the top, just to see how well this works. Okay, so I'm going to use this brush, and I'm just going to apply some. Can you guys see a difference? No yellow corrector thingy. Yellow corrector thingy. I think it looks good. So I'm going to go in with some more. This is the only thing I freaking hate. Is that it comes like this. And it doesn't have like a little like. Like a cap to cover it. I just feel like you get so much mess. And it's like you waste so much. So. Let me just try to clear it up. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply this underneath my eyes, still like dusting off any excess. So far, it looks freaking good. Okay, so I'm gonna contour my face. So I'm gonna go in with this L'Oreal True Match, and this is in W8. I like using this because I feel like it works amazing. So going in with the Soho brush, I'm just gonna contour my face so I'm just gonna suck in I like to use this shade just to like warm up my face I also like using this shade to contour my nose Okay, now going in with this NYC bronze, I like using this to deepen my contour. So I like to swirl it, tap off the excess, then like pinch it like this and place that right there. So just like that. So circle. Ooh, and it kind of just like, you know. My all-time favorite blush is the Mil Milani Bellamiso Bronze. So this one right here. I'm gonna apply Smile. Okay, so we're almost done. Going in with Unique. This is Mineral Body Shimmer and Starshine. This is pretty. Like, look at that. So gorgeous. So whatever is left on the cap, that's what I like using. I don't like just dipping right into that because I feel like it's a little bit too much, but that's okay. So going with the fan brush, I'm just going to place the brush in it like this. Mm, looks so nice. And just apply. Just apply like this. Oh, kind of like bring it down just a little just because like so it blends. So just, mm, but not too much. So just apply, bring down. Oh, so pretty. I like to apply it right here. It's like you have a sparkly mustache, but that's okay because it looks so pretty. It's a pretty freaking mustache. Going in with this NYC color and taupe. I don't know why taupe is like trending right now, which I was just like, yes, because I love the color taupe. So going with taupe, I'm just gonna apply it. Look at me, my pinky. Every time I catch myself putting my pinky on my chin, always makes me feel fancy. Okay, so now since my lips are like all taupey looking, I like going in with this Black Madonna Lavender Lip Gloss. I love to mix these two together. And it smells like cupcake. Oh. Look how pretty that looks. I love it. So I'm gonna just whip down the hair. Ooh, fancy, huh? Oh, nice. Okay, so I would have to say I really like the way the um, setting powder isn't this. This is not a setting powder. It's a corrective yellow. Um, let's see. 
see mask fine lines and imperfections for a radiant complexion this incredibly soft and sheer powder is great for a camera and everyday wear directions are micro fine particles are designed to be used with high definition camera technology or everyday wear apply all over the face or I wouldn't apply this all over the face you can tell right away it looks yellow which if you try to go with the whole Kim K thing that's what you want um, I really like the way it looks I would not put it all over your face because it would just look like yellow so um, I did tell you guys I would do um, flash photography um, to see if it had like a yellow cast on it so let me um, do that so hold on Do you guys see yellow? Yeah. No yellow. There's no yellow cast. Let's do it again. So the flash okay. is on. Can we just kind of blend it with you guys? Okay. Let's see. See like stars and shit. Okay. I'm like seeing stars. Okay. I don't see no yellow casting. Um, no yellow cast. I think the reason why I'm not seeing any yellow is because I set set my concealer first with a white setting powder and then I you know applied the yellow and I think that helped a lot. Oh wait you seem to make so much freaking mess so I think that's why it worked. I feel like if I would have just applied this directly right underneath when I did the concealer, I feel like it would have just like sucked onto it and like wrapped onto it and that's why you probably would get a yellow cast. Sorry, the camera was dirty. I think that's why you would get a yellow cast. So I think for those who are having a hard time with it and find that it's just um, like just sticking and you get like that really dramatic white cast underneath your eyes try setting it first with a clear um, setting powder and then apply that I think that would work so wonderful because I I'm, I'm loving it I like the way it looks so I would give this a thumbs up I would really recommend this to anyone who likes that really dramatic under eye ba bam and who likes to contour and all that because I feel like this is just gonna step up the contouring game even more for me because this is gonna pop more and you know this is gonna like mix in with it I don't know I don't know what I'm saying I hope you guys understand so I hope you guys enjoyed that first impressions on the new elf corrective yellow powder I think I said that right um yeah so subscribe for more reviews makeup tutorials and all that fun thanks so much for watching you guys and I'll see you guys in my next video bye